So everyone loves pizza, right? Well, I've got this customer that's given me such a great idea and we're gonna show you today. Basically what he wants to do is give a slice of pizza to each of the employees to say thank you. But we're gonna be making a box for that one slice of pizza. Each box is gonna have a personalized message per employee with their name on just to say thank you and it's a lovely idea to say thank you with a slice of pizza because who doesn't love pizza? So we're gonna get straight into it and show you how we're gonna do it. So the first thing we need to do is do a mock-up for him. Now we're not gonna do the exact same thing that he needs. We're gonna do it a little bit differently because I have no personal message. So we're gonna make this box for ourselves as an example for him. So here's a sample that he's given me and basically I just need a template out of this in order to do what we want to do. So I've already gone ahead and I've drawn a template out and basically if we have a look here this triangle piece here is our pizza here in the middle and we need our box to fold around the pizza. So this piece here is supposed to have a dotted line but we've removed that and that's going to be folded inwards on top of that and then this piece will be connected to that piece and then this piece will be connected to this piece and so on until we get a shape like this and we're going to have an inside piece which holds the pizza and then we're going to have a lid which is basically these two outer pieces but we're not going to be doing this printing we're going to do something else and I don't want any dotted lines because I know where we're going to be folding we'll go ahead and grab our text tool and we'll pick a font doesn't have to be something aggressive it could be something quite nice let's go with this one and then we can just start typing basically I'm going to say a slice a day keeps the doctor away just something quirky for fun and we're going to show it to the customer and that's our sample for him so all we're going to do is just go with a whole bunch of these and off center them and put them at different angles because again all I'm wanting to do is just copy this wording so it continues throughout the entire thing and we're going to try and make it look a bit different as well as add a color background so that we can have a bit of versatility here okay so now we've got our pattern here we're going to go ahead and just make this bigger so it fits a bit better and we can even do it to exactly the right size just make this a bit wider as well and there we go so now we can push enter there and now as we've noticed our text is going to be hidden and you're not going to be able to see it so we'll just do a color overlay and change this to white give that a bit of a boost and then from there we can even go ahead and add a black stroke to it just to give it a little bit more emphasis we'll go to push ok and now we can have our actual design and it's very visible there so now what we need to do is we need to take our outline right to the front because we want to cut it out there and we want to make sure that we can cut it precisely where it needs to be. Now you don't have to cut this accurately to the precise points. What we can do is remove the actual border, the black border of the shape of the box and then just laser cut it as it is. So if you are going to do your own registration marks, what we want to do is get the four corners of your artwork. Now not the background, the actual board, bordered item. So we want the four corners. So as you can see there is a corner and here's a corner and there's a corner. Now what we're going to do is when the laser and you push frame, it's going to draw a rectangle. So you want these corners to line up with each laser when it's going through its frame. And that's when you know it's going to cut 100% accurately. So from here, I'm just going to get rid of that piece that I've put there. I don't want the registration mark. And I also do not want my outline because I'm going to cut my design within this border. So now all we need to do here is go ahead and save this as a JPEG to print. And then all we need to do is vectorize our outline that we have, which is this. And then we can take it straight into RDWorks. Okay, so we've imported our laser cut artwork, which is a DXF. And all I need to do is because we've done the size already, again, if you want to change the size, you just need to go up to the corner here, make sure your lock tool is on and then change the size within here. Or you can leave it as it is. We can just go ahead, double click, change the settings we want. Yes, it is cut, 
we want the blowing option to be on. I want to move it at 50 millimeters per second and at 45% power. And then from there, all we need to do is go ahead and save to a U file, which is our USB. And then we can go ahead and cut once we've printed our artwork. Okay, so now we've done everything we need to for the artwork side. The first thing we have to do is grab our cardboard and go straight to our UV printer and start printing. So there you have it guys, we've gone ahead and pre-ordered some pizza and the slice fits perfectly in the base that we've made. Now in an ideal world you're going to make the base a bit bigger and the lid a bit smaller. So all you're going to do is go ahead, take your lid, take it and slide it in. And there you have it guys, we've got a one slice pizza box, perfect for a slice of pizza. Now this is a great sample to show our customer exactly what we can do. Again, it depends on the thickness of the box that you want to go, the cardboard, everything is going to be your choice. But the idea is there, I've shown you how to do it, now you just need to execute it yourself. So I really hope you enjoyed watching this because this is such a cool thing to do. Get one slice in a box and it's appreciation, that's all it is about and the idea behind it is fantastic. Well, now all I want to do is eat this thing, it looks so good. Well, thank you for watching. Just go ahead and click on that subscribe button. It really does help. Click the bell icon while you're there so that you can get notified on our next video. Enjoy. AI may eventually take over, but what's for certain is that smart machines are already operating all over the world right now. So stay ahead with am.co.za. For 11 years, they've been the leader in CNC and printing machines like CNC routers, large format printers, vinyl cutters, laser cutters, plasma cutters, DTF printers and many more. Visit am.co.za showrooms in Sunny Rock, Joburg and Montague Gardens, Cape Town or WhatsApp hi to 060-600-6000. For more info, am.co.za, achievement matters.